You know them? We're like twins. You love them. Get out of here. You cry with them. <laughs> you laugh with them. And we're getting married. Many of your favorite movies have one thing in common, Nancy Myers. And this time of year, one masterpiece from the writer, producer, and director is particularly popular. Oh, yeah. The Holiday, the 2006 film starring Cameron Diaz, Kate Winslet, Jude Law, Jack Black, and Eli Wallach, has grown a cult following. But surprisingly, it didn't start that way. The movie didn't open in a big, splashy way. I gotta say, I was a little disappointed. The trajectory of The Holiday was every year it became more popular. You just watched it for the first time in how long? I feel it's been eight years, nine years. My biggest takeaway was how much I love the actors and how personal some of it was. So it was kind of what I was going through with, you know, my own private Jasper. And so it was great to have Kate Winslet be my voice in some of those scenes. Jasper is the character Kate Winslet, Iris in the film, is trying to get over. Some of the exact details of their storyline were pulled directly from an experience Myers herself was having at the time. Myers, known for her casting genius, says she knew exactly who she wanted to play these special parts. I had Cameron and Kate in mind when I was writing. Uh -huh. And I know I met with Kate while I was writing. I think she came to my house and I remember she just sort of did the scene and something's gotta give. Perry, I gotta go. Of Diane on the street with Jack when she finds out that he's with this other woman. And it was just, I loved her, I wanted her. Fans of Myers are obsessed with the aesthetics of her films. A craze Myers says she doesn't totally get, but that she knows what she wants her movies to look and feel like. I try in my movies to keep them timeless in a way. Like I dress people in a way that will work in 20 years or 30 years. And I don't try to do a lot of references or very, you know, the way people speak of the moment. So, so when I heard Blackberry. And you sleep with your Blackberry. Oh, that one got by me. One more thing that's a sign of the times, shooting in a now shuttered blockbuster. But it gave us a hilarious scene that Myers reveals had some ad-libbing from Black, rare on her sets. Well, hello, big dollop. <laughs> a small dollop and a big dollop. I don't think I wrote that, to be honest. I didn't say to him this time, do 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 do. Do 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 screw do 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 do. I let him go, and she really was laughing at him. Were you laughing on set during that? Of course, I laugh a lot. The sound guy's always telling me to shut up. And a special cameo was just a happy accident. Dustin was eating at a restaurant next door, so he popped in. And it was a long time when I went, What is wrong with me? We're talking about the graduate. Where have you gone, Joe DiMaggio? You want to just be in the scene and we'll just cut to you and you can whatever. We didn't do his hair, we didn't put makeup on him. That was what he wore to lunch. And he just said, Can't go anywhere. Another fun behind the scenes fact Meyer's intervention in a fan favorite scene Diaz dancing alone. When we were doing it, she was just so good at it. And I, I, I just went, come here, Ida, don't be so good. She said, what, what do you mean? I said, just be dorkier. That's why. It's a little clumsy and awkward, and that's what I wanted it to be. So you had to teach her or ask her to make it dorkier. Yes, I did. And as for those rumors of another installment. I've been asked to make a sequel a couple times, you know? And I think about it, and I just think it's good the way it is. I don't know how I won't disappoint. Nothing you do disappoints. I, I don't know that it, could, it was just a moment in time for all of them and for me. And as for our favorite foursome, when you watch it, when you wrote it, where did you imagine they go? I don't, I don't do that. When it ends, uh, it ends for me. But um, to make you happy, <laughs> I believe they, uh, I think they're all together. Great, right? And she was so nice to me as such a big fan saying yeah. that for me. All right, you may have seen yesterday this rumor totally went viral that there was a sequel for The Holiday in the works. Got to say, friends with Nancy now called her yeah, up. Like, now she's my friend. Yeah, actually, the, I, I, I called her. She said, as she posted on Instagram, no, it's not true. But there is some good news. Get this. She had previously said she was retired. Well, she does have a new movie in the works. She wrote it during COVID for Netflix. Okay. It shoots in the spring. It's a movie about it's a movie about making a movie. And like The Holiday, you guys, it also 
has five leads, and Nancy promises it's really, really funny. I love it. It's just <laughs> a good time. It's a fun uh, movie. All of her movies, they're feel good. They are so feel good. They yeah. all have these really strong females they in do. them, too, which mm -hmm. she says she wants women to be victorious in her movies. It's just, it was so incredible and to I love watching your fangirl. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Huge. As she knows. It's adorable. <laughs> like I said, I remember yeah. this I email. I should stay in touch. I feel appreciative. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And keep the inside scoops coming as you get them. I love it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.